everybody. We're out at 440. You can see the the weather is kind of intense here. <laughs> so we're calling it a little bit. Yeah, that's that's a pretty intense yeah. picture. Yeah, uh, yeah. So we we're out we're outside here, and you can see the yellow balloons. Uh, the uh, I think there are, the home and school is having a little celebration for the graduating seniors. I think, which is. A lovely sentiment and um, so we had a good day today I'm here with with Eve and Eve is visiting us in Philadelphia and so and Eve is an artist too Eve do you want to say what you're working on yes I'm working on a little cartoon about Allison's based on Allison's work because I just I want to get the message out to people so uh, maybe someone who's more visually minded so, uh, like a graphic novel, like a mini zine graphic novel. Yeah, a little, a little cartoon zine. <laughs> Which is really cool. I just want to break it down so it's it's sort of easy for people to sort of digest a little because there's so many parts to it. So. Yeah, so that's going to be awesome. And that's that's part of using people's, your gifts, right? Everybody uses that's their gifts to, to spread yeah. the message. And I don't know, did you want to say anything, Vince? No, All right. And Vince is here too. Yeah. Hi, I'm just <laughs> trying to get this school district to appreciate that they can't make rules by fiat that regard medicine and science. They are completely out of bounds when it comes to the decisions they're making here without backing up anything, even, even to the CDC as far as medical testing of all the students. Exactly, and you've got your sign. Flip it around. <laughs> it's upside down, so that could be actually very appropriate. So yeah, no forced medical testing and yeah, and, and kids are being, there's like a tiny number of days that they're actually in school and they're... Hardly any time and my son has to spend time in line getting a, a medical, uh, getting a COVID test, which has no scientific basis whatsoever, no validity, and they're getting, and if he tested positive for any reason whatsoever, they'd have to have him quarantine, want to have him quarantine for 14 days and his whole classroom cohort as well. So they would just miss all of school. <laughs> yeah, they would just miss miss all the school that they could even have. So, like I said, we were out here on the median and sort of in solidarity with Neil Fullman, who is a Philadelphia public school high school teacher, um, and who has, you know, had a lot of questions about what what is happening and the terrible learning conditions that we have. And when we first came out a couple of weeks ago, Neil was out for a, several weeks before we were, but the, there were tall weeds all in the the median. And and they were mowed, but today um, we came back and the dandelions, we, which we have, they are growing back, which is awesome. And so we have three. And so in honor of, and it, it seems nice because we've got these yellow balloons, which are kind of like yellow dandelions. Each of us, it's gonna be kind of like the briar rose thing. Here, here you go, Eve. We'll each take a dandelion up and, um, and a wish for the, uh, for the graduates, right? Because we're out here, I mean, we're out looking out for the interests, not just of ourselves, but of the coming generations. And then our goal is that we would be able to make sure that they're able to make the contributions to society that they're intended to make. So, so yeah, so we're just gonna do our little dandy lions. Eve, do you wanna go? Do you know what you wanna say? I already know what I wanna say. Okay. I wish all the students and the teachers, I wish them that they will find wisdom and they'll have strength and courage and that they'll go on and then they won't just buck to the system that they can look at things. I wish them truth, peace, and love. All right, do you want to lay it down in front of the door? Okay, that's wish number one. All right. I wish that the students will see there's more to school than compliance to completely unnecessary and uh, unfactual uh, dictates. <laughs> and that's wish number two. And could I could I have you just hold me? So 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 I'm gonna do this wish now and I just want to channel my friend Joseph who is a brilliant mathematical mind and someone who was always about working outside the system to get his questions answered. The, the true spirit of scientific inquiry. And he was talking to me about nodes and light and blank space, and that the idea of light and love is sharing in abundance and passing. You, you capture energy and then you pass it on. So hopefully we're out here today to um, share this energy, to pass it on, to be a light, to be a beacon. And
and um, to wish for all of these students who are graduating to have opportunities to use their gifts from a place of care and love and abundance. So this is our wish. And um, so I guess we will just say, maybe on the count of three, we will transmute the school district. Because this was the thing that brought me into activism was things not being fair with the schools, with these closures. So there is a lot of energy out here around this building, which is a printing press, which is about taking somebody else's idea and pushing it onto paper, and which is what they're doing for the kids, is to imprint on them a future that isn't theirs. So they want to write their own future. So we'll do one, two, three, and transmute, okay? One, two, three. Transmute! transmute. All right, thanks, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're, we're transmuting, we're transmuting, all right.